All right, good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Tuesday. We traded, uh, we, we own Pinterest. I mean, I, I own Pinterest. And Pinterest, we had that really big back gap up. Let me just bring up pins, pin, Pinterest. So we had this, that, that happened to us right here. We owned that 50 and we had that big gap up. We ran to like almost 68. And I told everybody that it started breaking down. I told us if the stock, Starts trending down. If it holds here for about two hours, the stock could definitely probably go to 180, 200. She's like, oh, please don't tell me that. I'll make 10,000 every point it goes up. I said, well, listen, what, you know, that's what the, the reason why we know that is because being a good day trader, you learn how to swing trade. Okay. And you know what? You'll be a phenomenal swing trade. You might not be a good day trader, but you may be a great odd swing trader. But you wouldn't know how to swing trade if you don't learn how to day trade first because the day trade makes you very conservative. It shows you what to look for, what to worry about. You know, so sometimes it's a little too fast, but at least you understand what's happening and you're more engaged in, the, in, in what's going on. So that's the beauty of it. You know, if you thought you missed, the, the, if you really thought you missed the rally back in March, this is like unheard of. I mean, now things are really starting to pick up. And, and the market's not even up that big. I mean, we finally broke 30, you know, 30,000 and stuff like that. But but there are stocks out there that are, you know, benefiting from, you know, the, the pandemic. And you, you got to go with the money where it's going. Because today we got a really, really busy day. Uh, we got traders talk to everybody here in the cyber group room. And, uh, you know, and tomorrow we got open house before we got Christmas. So we got all that taken care of. And you guys got classes. Hope you guys enjoyed classes. Let's start with the big... Um, Let's start with the big stocks we're going to keep an eye on this morning and, and day trading. Uh, JD was looking really well. I don't know what happened. She kind of backed off all of a sudden. She might go on my B list versus my A list, but that one is moving this morning. Another one that popped early this morning is a, uh, AMTX. Another really nice push. Great iceberg orders right there on level three. Nice little trend. Cheap stock up 72%. Going to watch that one. I know you guys uh, benefited from that one also. Just fix something here. So we got the EQOS, another one. She's hovering at the highs. Not a lot of orders out there on level three. You know, you can see them out there, but there are, it looks like it's got some resistance levels here at 1250. We'll keep an eye on that. But she's making a Fausto flag, which is a pretty nice thing that I looked at. Hopping over here on the B list. Sometimes they pop on the A list. By the way, you guys, some of you know my sister Tina, right? She was actually one of the reasons how I got into the industry. I don't know if you, you guys ever read my book. Anybody here in the cyber group know my sister Tina? She actually, she, once in a while, I have her uh, as a speaker. She's just a little, you know, very fast. <laughs> Grant, you remember her? She she, she came sometimes. To, I had to do a speaking to the on site. She was, uh, if you read my book, she was one of the reasons. Um, she got into trading, and because she drove her, she, drove, she was driving a nicer car than me because she was the smart one. She actually got a job as a trader. I was an ignorant guy that says, ah, I don't need to learn. And I went out there and uh, tried to learn on my own. And when she was driving a nicer car and she was talking about level two and level three and instant, I'm sitting at the dinner table. Like, what the hell is this girl talking about? I says, enough's enough. I got to find out what she was doing. And that was one of the big reasons. So anyway, you read my book on that. Uh, pretty, pretty interesting story. Listen, a lot of people don't like to get too crazy going into the, the, the final days of the year. They like to finish out 2020 on a very positive note. So, you know, listen, don't get cocky. We talked about that yesterday in the cyber group room. We were trading. Me and Josh, you heard us saying, listen, I knew I should have hold it. Could have made more money, but I'm not getting greedy. I'm just going to take the money and run. And I, I think a lot of people are going to start to realize it's not, it's not a time when to do that. Scott says, I want to buy my copy soon. Yeah, it's on Amazon. Um, the book has been, uh, it's called How to Beat Market Makers in Our Own Game. And uh, what else is it? It's been uh, published by Wiley, one of the most well-known publishing companies they actually were begging me to write the book and I, you know what I, you know I'm just just on a quick note just on my book honestly I don't know how people have time to write a book you don't really make I mean I'm not in politics where they make a fortune on books we don't make anything out of it's actually a loss I got no time to write a book but you know what they they, they want me to write it I wrote it and actually you know they said you know what now you now you're now you're uh you know uh you're an author so kind of like you know it's like a feather in your cap it works out pretty well and it's not like a self-published you know a a reputable publishing company wanted it and uh, worked out. It's a pretty cool book. It's a fast read. It's not, you know, it's, it's a good for beginners. It's a fast read and you might read it two, three times and really get it.
All right, guys. Um, good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Sorry to be chatting away and whatever, but uh, be safe. We'll get ready for the open. If you watch this on YouTube, just like us, friend us, pay the nine dollars, do the trial, and if you are doing the trial, hope you guys are enjoying it and having a great time. All right. We'll see you back here at uh, in the Cyber Group room for Traders Talk, and we'll be back here on YouTube, Facebook Live, and for the afternoon meeting at two thirty. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Be safe.